All right, right now we're going to adjust our chain. So the first step is getting your bike uh, propped up on some stands. Um, you actually don't need these kind of stands. I'm going to take the wheels off later, but just your side stand is fine. But uh, what I did first was I uh, loosened the axle nut, which is this big guy right here. Okay. And on my bike, it's a 27 mil with a half inch drive and you're going to need a torque wrench to tighten it up later so I just use that to to break it but if not follows fails I pull out the old pipe bust those loose anyway we're just getting it loose and now uh, we're gonna go here to the little tightening nuts here okay so if you look on the side here Honda has been nice and they put a little green and some red. Red means bad, green means good. There's a little hash mark, so I'm well within the green. My bike's not that old. Um, so my chain's actually okay. But assuming it wasn't, and how you tell, is if your bike was on the ground, which isn't right now, you would use your ruler and you'd stick it on the swing arm right in the middle, okay? And then you would, with your finger, move the chain like this. And there's a certain amount of flex. And by using the, the ruler, you can measure how much that is. And in your manual, it'll tell you how many inches or whatever. I don't remember what it is off the top of my head. But I know mine was good. And so if it's not good, you have to come to these little screws here and here. Now remember, you have to loosen the axle nut to do this because the chain doesn't really move. You're really moving the axle when people say tighten the chain. So on top you can see a number of hash marks. Okay, maybe not in the video, but your bike will have some kind of marking somewhere. And that's what you want to make sure both sides are even. If not, your wheel is kinked. And then you start wobbling down the road and you crash and you die. So that's not good. So basically, you just move these. I'll move this side, you know, quarter turn, this side, quarter turn, and then so on and so on until I recheck my chain slack and it's within spec. Then I would tighten my axle nut. In this case, it was 69 foot pounds in the rear, which is very important because this isn't a castle nut and I, I can't put a uh, pin through it. So if that comes off down the road, uh, you're pretty screwed. So it's good to keep that. Uh, within spec. That 